the anticipation is killing me. Justin Warner here with Lorraine Sink and Angelique Rocher, and today we're gonna eat the universe. So gang, we're talking about Captain Marvel, and we're talking about the Skrulls, and we're all very excited about all of this. Oh yeah. So to celebrate, I've created for you a Skrulls-inspired dish. Now know that we've taken into consideration all of your personal preferences in terms of what you do and do not like to eat. I eat lots of vegan things that look like burgers, but they're not. Not burgers. They're not burgers. Are you ready? Yes. In three, two, one. This is a scroll, so I do not trust it. That looks like a caprese salad, but I don't trust that it's a caprese <laughs> salad at all. Because the scrolls, of course, are shape shifters. Taste it. Really? Try it. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Right, like right now? Yeah. Okay. Right. You first. That's the crunchiest ball of mozzarella you've ever heard. Yeah, this is not mozzarella. Mm -mm. Who are you? And what is this? It is... A radish! Yeah, they're not totally rad. They're rad-ish. Oh, oh. I loved it. What's going on with the Kree and the Skrulls? Well, hmm. they are two alien races that do not like each other. They have At been all. warring for... Mm -hmm. A few minutes. A few minutes, millennia. So there was a lot of trepidation just trying this dish. What would it be like to fight a race of shapeshifters? I mean, it's pretty tough, right? You actually don't know who they are or where they're going to be because they look like your next door neighbor or like a radish. Or like you. Anytime there's a big hubbub in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, you know, people come out of the walls and then you kind of get, you know, new fans. What are you most excited for everyone to, to see, to learn, to find out? I gotta say Carol Danvers is a bad bay. She was introduced in comics as the head of security for NASA. So right off the bat, we're talking a really big statement of a powerful woman. So she comes from a legacy of being a really, really powerful, dynamic, rich character. She's also relatable. Like she's got real life problems. She's got real life friends. She's fighting a battle and she kind of comes with this really amazing moral compass. Mm. Um, and I'm really excited for folks to kind of meet their next new best friend. Uh, that also happens to be a superhero. Would you go out for donuts with Carol Danvers? Maybe to Sugars. Yeah? Yeah, hey. nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. I'm gonna show you how I shifted these shapes. And it's actually super simple. I used a peeler. In the spirit of going higher, further, and faster, how about we uh, see how long it takes us to peel a radish? I'm gonna be honest, I've never peeled a radish before. Nope. Yeah. Pick your own radish. I believe in you, Lorraine. I believe in you. I'm sorry for hurting you. Hey, Justin. Yes. Don't hire me to work in your kitchen. You're doing fine. This is dangerous. And Good. time. I give no cares about this tale. She I have went a hemispherical. Fear of my mother seeing this and clowning me. I'm telling you, man, the first thing I ever did as a kid, my mom handed me a potato peeler. I need a lot of potatoes in my household. And time. What the? What is happening? What did that radish do to you? <laughs> <laughs> no! So congratulations on uh, being our, our peeling champions. Both of us? Yeah. Oh, honey. This is nice. We get to share our victory. Do you we want to win it. too? Come, come on. You can be one Bring of our Look at everybody Aww. win. Group up. So now that we've peeled these radishes, I'm going to assemble the plate. Let me tell you, there's really no wrong way to do it. You can draw a circle, just like right around there. That's simply reduced balsamic vinegar. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just going to snack on the tomatoes while you make the plate. I want it to feel good about itself. Are <laughs> you making a smiley face? Because I think Captain Marvel's really inspiring and it makes me feel happy, so I want other people to feel happy about it. I mean, so there we go. I think that's pretty good, right? That would make Carol very happy. So now we're gonna add the, uh, the trickery, the scroll element of this dish in the form of these fake mozzarella balls. While I season this, tell me about your first experience with Captain Marvel. I was reading another one of my favorite comic books and in walks this badass who is there to help. And I was like, 
who is this amazing flying superhero named Captain Marvel? And then I dug in. I ended up getting um, some of Thompson's comics and reading the backstory. And then, you know, once you ask Lorraine about Captain Marvel, you know everything. She's gone through a lot of iterations through comics, but I love her binary powers. I just remember the first time I saw her go binary, she gets spiky and covered in this electricity and this energy. And I was like, oh, this is like a next level powerful. Like you see her with other Avengers and the Avengers are awesome, but she has sort of this cosmic awesomeness. Yeah, I'm totally into it. To finish this off, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. Uh, Anjali, do you mind harvesting the babyest leaves from the basil plant? The babyest leaves. We've now created a scroll inspired dish. I think that this would trick almost anyone. It tricked us, so. It totally tricked us. Do you wanna try it again and see if we have a different interpretation? Now that we know we're dealing with something that it is not, the element of surprise is gone. And I feel like we can defeat this. Oh yeah, now I trust that that's a tomato. Right, exactly, yeah, no hesitation whatsoever. All right, let's try. All right, here we go. I've given up on a fork. I mean, forks and radishes. You think I can make the perfect bite all at once? Let's try. I believe. I'm here for this, I believe in you. <laughs> Splash zone! I think that tomato went binary. How excited are you for Marvel Studios' Captain Marvel to be out in the wild? I mean, on a scale of one to 10, 47? 47, I yeah. love it. Yeah, I think it's gonna just really blow everybody's mind. I love Brie Larson. Yeah. I love Samuel L. Jackson running around with two eyes, like what's happening? I'm all about that little goose cat life. It's a cat named Goose. The cat just is to clarify. the best. You know what, people should just, they should just go watch it if they haven't seen it, or watch it again if you have, or watch it 12 times. Well, that's all the time we have for Eat the Universe. Thanks so much for being here. Our pleasure. Thank you, sir. Make sure you guys check out Marvel Studios' Captain Marvel in theaters now. Uh...